This is home. And our roots run as deep as the love we have for this place. Owned by the same Cincinnati company for more than 70 years. And what matters to you matters to us. This is WCPO 9 News. We thank you for choosing us. I'm Evan Millward. Here's a look at some of the top stories at this hour. The man accused of shooting and killing his wife's lover at a Sharonville drive through is now being held on $1 million bond. Anthony Holly Jr. was in court for the first time hours ago charged with aggravated murder. According to court documents, he shot 32 year old Michael Bryce 10 times at the rallies on East Sharon Road after learning Bryce had been intimate with his wife. The lawyer for a man accused in a deadly Millvale shooting says that it was a case of self-defense. 25-year-old Robert McDonald is charged with murder, accused of shooting D'Angelo Amison Thursday morning at an apartment complex on Westwood Northern Boulevard. At his arraignment today, McDonald's lawyer argued for a lower bond, saying Amison kicked in McDonald's door and attacked him. The judge set his bond, though, at $1 million. The annual butterfly show kicked off today at the Crone Conservatory. The theme for the 25th anniversary show is Butterflies of Bali. It features around 16,000 butterflies from at least 85 species from all over the world. Mother's Day weekend, generally pretty busy at the Crone, so tickets this weekend are already sold out. But Butterflies of Bali runs through September 6th. Tickets are available at Cincinnati Parks. Com. We've had a really nice day, but Mother's Day, a little dicier, Sherry. Yeah, it looks like we're going to be chasing some showers and even some storms, and clouds are already increasing. Tonight, we'll see some scattered showers over the area, temperatures around 46. We could see a few showers by midnight, some in the overnight hours. Getting up in the morning, breakfast time looks to be dry for mom, and so if you want to take her to breakfast, good idea. In the afternoon, though, not so dry. You'll be dodging showers and even the potential for a strong to severe storm as we have a marginal risk for that. In terms of those temperatures, we start in the 40s in the morning, and those temperatures get up to about 66 as we head into Mother's Day afternoon.